Hello and welcome back to Officina Virtuale. Let's continue our beginner series as always in part design. In part one, we can sketch something like a circle here, and let's see with the radius uh, 50. We can extrude this, but we can select two different uh, dimensions, for example, let's say 100 in our first direction, and we can introduce the second direction and let's say uh, 50. And uh, we can use the thickness, for example, uh, let's say 5 millimeters. Let's click on preview and let's click on OK. And now, with our body selected, we can add some material. For example, let's select metal and uh, copper, apply material and OK. Remember, to see the material, we need to uh, change our shading options and we need to select shading with material, OK? So let's talk about measure. And uh, we've got different options. For example, we can select measure between this is our first option, and we can select different kind of uh, geometry. For example, we can select edge, only edge. And now, this, this is our first edge. As you can see here now in our cursor, we've got two, and we can select our second cursor, our second edge. And as you can see here, we've got this distance, distance between these two different elements, okay? This is our first option. I will repeat that. So let's select measure between edge, but this time I can select this edge as our first edge and this edge as our second edge. And let's click on OK. And we've got this distance here. As you can see, here, this is a different distance. Uh, if I click on uh, front view, we've got the exact measure between this edge here, this interior edge, and the exterior edge here, okay? Let's check some different options. For example, we can use surface only. We've got the second option. And with surface only, I can select the interior surface here and the exterior surface. And as you can see, as a result, we've got our thickness, five millimeters, okay? Or I can select the surface here, this ground here, and this, and as always, we've got 150 millimeter. Okay. As you can see, we've got these options here. This is measure item. Uh, we've got this option even here. We can select this option, and with this option, we've got different elements. For example, we've got uh, the name of our element, a cylinder, we've got the area, and we've got our radius. Or, for example, we've got this option, we can measure the thickness, for example. Uh, there is an approximation where we can change uh, our approximation options. We will see that in another tutorial. But for now, uh, we've got this option, and we can measure uh, the thickness without problem with this element. Let's check some other options. For example, we've got these options uh, uh, picking axis. As you can see, we can select an axis. This is our axis. Okay, and we can select this as a second element. As you can see, they've got the same axis, so we can't measure nothing. Or I can change, for example, uh, arc center. I can select this as an arc, and we've got this center. And, for example, as a second reference, I can select a surface only, and let's check this. So we've got a radius, okay? So we've got different options. We need to know what we are measuring. This is the important thing. Okay. 
But the most important option is this option here, measure inertia. As you can see, we can select our body. Uh, we can select even our uh, in our specification tree. For example, I can select this. As you can see, we've got different options. For example, volume, area, mass, and uh, density. We've got the position of our center of gravity. Of course, we've got this 25 millimeter. And uh, we've got the inertia matrix uh, and uh, our principal moments as you can see okay this is the most important option we will use that when we will develop uh, something like uh, movement with law and so on and uh, okay as always if you like this content please consider to subscribe share and so on see you soon